个。What's up, everyone? Today, I want to show you an app that has been a game changer for me. It's called Sleepy Time, and it's available for free on iOS. I did check the Google Play Store for the Sleepy Time app. I did not find it. I don't believe it exists. However, if you search Sleepy Time in the Google Play Store, you will find a bunch of apps that basically do the same thing also completely free. But for this show, I am gonna focus on the iOS app, Sleepy Time. You can also check out the web-based app. I'll put the address down here, Sleepy Time. That's with a .me, not a .com. Uh, you can access that on your laptop or you can open up the browser on your phone and check it out. Now, the whole point of this app is that you never wake up feeling groggy, which for me is big. I'm more of a night owl. I've been trying to become more of a morning person. And when you wake up feeling groggy, whether it's five hours of sleep or eight hours of sleep, it's miserable. This app, I have used it so many times. I've had success every single time. Now the way it works, you have to understand sleep cycles. I won't bore you to death here, but the average person has a sleep cycle of 90 minutes, going from a very light stage of sleep to a very deep stage of sleep where you're sleeping, or sorry, when you're dreaming. Now the goal is to wake up at the end of that 90 minute cycle. If you wake up somewhere in between when you're in a deep stage of sleep, that's where you feel groggy. So that's what the whole app is for. It's all about timing those 90 minute cycles and getting it down to where you can wake up right at the end of a 90 minute cycle, whether it's three hours of sleep or nine hours of sleep. Now there are two ways you can use this app. Most of you watching this probably have a day job and you need to wake up at the same time every day. Just open the app, press pick a time and then Choose the time that you need to uh, wake up. You'll then hit done. It will then give you a list of times along with how many sleep cycles you'll get if you go to bed at that time. Now keep in mind, this isn't when you need to fall asleep. This is when you need to actually just lay down and dedicate to the idea that you're falling asleep. The TV's off, no music's playing, you're not on your phone, you are closing your eyes and you're going to bed. Now, most people take on average of 14 minutes from when they lay down to go to sleep till they actually enter that first stage of sleep. So with that in mind, that's what it calculates, which is really nice. The web version does not do that, but the app version takes that into account. So the times listed are the times that you need to just lay down. Now, next to those, remember, are the sleep cycles you'll get. You'll want to, on average, you want to get six to, or five to six sleep cycles per night. That's the healthiest, although some of us can get uh, by with a lot less sleep. I have had occasions where I need to wake up uh, within like three and a half hours or four hours, so I set it accordingly, and I've woken up with you know only three hours of sleep once. I felt great. You're gonna be tired later in the day, but at that moment you wake up, you're gonna feel fantastic. Now the other way to use the app is if you don't have a specific time that you need to be up the next day, you know that you're going to bed right now, so you just press the going to bed now button, and then it will list all of the times that you could wake up and feel pretty refreshed along again with how many sleep cycles you're gonna get. So that is Sleepy Time. It's a fantastic app. Again, it's completely free in the iOS store. You can try downloading some other apps, both on iOS or Google Play, that do pretty much the same thing. But if you are struggling with waking up and you feel groggy most of the time, it's because you're not timing your sleep cycles right. This is an app that I recommend everybody uses because it will make life so much easier if you can just time waking up on those right sleep cycles. That's a wrap, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more cool, fun apps that make life better, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Uh, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, whether it is on sleepy time, whether it's on sleep in general, or you have other apps that you want me to check out. I'd love to keep the conversation going between all of us here. So this is a two-way conversation. I, I, I don't want it to just be me talking to you. Otherwise, I will see you on the next episode of Tech Audit TV.